chocolate is about to say goodbye to the world. If you're a fan of chocolate, you better start hoarding it now because it may be joining the dinosaurs in just a few decades. Scientists say chocolate is in danger of disappearing by 2050 due to warmer and drier conditions from global warming. Cacao can only be grown within a narrow strip of rainforested land about 20 degrees north and south of the equator, where the temperature, rain and humidity are relatively constant year-round. Over half of the world's chocolate comes from two African countries, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana. However, rising temperatures over the next decades will make those regions unsuitable for cacao. Researchers from the University of California are now working with the Mars Company to save the cacao plant from disappearing. Berkeley scientists hope to modify cacao DNA using CRISPR technology to develop plants that won't wilt or rot at the current elevations under warmer conditions. No, but really, life without chocolate? Eat it now while it's still around. Caramel is coming. Thank ye candy gods for answering all our prayers, as M&M's comes out with a new flavor next year that proves there is still goodness in this world, chocolatey goodness. It took 75 years, but the M&M's crew has finally decided to fill their candies with something soft and gooey for a change. Soon we can all indulge in luscious caramel, covered in milk chocolate and encased in a crunchy colorful shell. None of that pumpkin spice bullcrap. The new flavor is going to be a permanent item and the company's gateway to the booming 2.2 billion US dollar caramel business. M&M's is so serious about it that they spent two years figuring out how to do caramel right and even built a new plant in Kansas to produce the tasty morsels. The caramel candies are set to fly off shelves and make America fat again by May 2017. Until then, uh, we'll just be here drooling. Toblerone's new chocolate bars are making everyone very unhappy. Fans of Toblerone are voicing their displeasure across social media after the company released a new design for the airport duty-free staple. A statement posted to Toblerone's Facebook page explains that rising costs in production of the famous treat is what led to the redesign of their 400 gram and 170 gram chocolate bars. However, the company assures the public that other bars will remain unchanged. The new design widens the gaps between the iconic triangle pieces of the treat, while the length of the entire chocolate bar remains the same. This means chocolate bars that were formerly 400 grams now weigh only 360 grams at the same length. In other words, consumers are getting roughly 10% less chocolate for the same price. The new design allowed the company to reduce the amount of chocolate but retain the original size and shape of the bar's packaging. However, the company has assured everyone that the shape change will not affect the taste or quality of their chocolate bars. Even so, some fans are not so forgiving, even going so far as to blame the new design on Brexit. Squirrel gets in the holiday mood by feasting on pricey chocolates. An American squirrel was caught on camera nabbing expensive chocolates and some lip balm from a Jersey family's porch. Every year, the Boudreaux family leaves out a holiday basket for delivery people on their doorstep. They stuff it with candy, snacks, tissues, hand warmers, and other treats. Michelle Boudreaux said they never had any issues until this year when she noticed the basket was raided shortly after she placed it outside. She said the thief was only taking the expensive treats, including 25 Ghirardelli chocolate squares. The family put up a hidden camera to see if they could catch the perpetrator in action. They were more than a little surprised to see it was actually a super chunky squirrel. Michelle then later actually ran into Chunk mid-heist and watched him clear out their chocolate yet again. Oh yeah, he also took a Carmex lip balm. The chocolate has now been placed in a jar, but Michelle still leaves out squirrel treats for Chunk too. Hold on to your sweet tooth! McDonald's seems to be on a mission to kill us with calories, one decadent food item at a time. After unleashing chocolate-covered fries on Japan, it's now targeting unsuspecting Italians with something they won't be able to resist. Two days after humanity effed itself up, Mickey D's decided to console the world by making a dessert burger filled with everyone's favorite hazelnut spread. No meat, no cheese, no pickles, just carbs and choco hazelnutty goodness. But you'll have to fly to Italy if you want Nutella between your buns. 
And you'll probably need to have more than one, because the sweetie con Nutella is definitely not American-sized. Might be a good idea just to make your own dessert witch. Or better yet, just eat it straight out of the jar like a proper Nutella monster. Although if the Nutella burger ever comes to our shores, uh, definitely not complaining.